Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video, we're going to look at a new mod map release for Farming Simulator 19. This is Almost a Farm by Kaz64, and I'm almost a day late with it. <laughs> See what I did there. It is 116.91 megabytes to download and the description on the mod hub says welcome to almost a farm here you will find 108 small to medium odd shaped fields that's worker friendly I'm not so sure about that but I'll mention that in a minute an easy place to start farming on several average fields the map has quite a bit of detail wherever you look. This is a old feel to it. BGA, animal dealer and cell points are old and gives that feel of being a kid running around. This map is seasons ready and custom precision farming ready. An easy place to start farming on several average fields. It has placeable areas spread over the map for you and is good for multiplayer. Feel free to offer any suggestions as these will be used for improvements on any future updates. Thank you. So, the reason why I said about the work of Friendly, laughing at that, is if we look at the actual map, we've got a couple of round fields, so I cannot see the workers coping with that. So, this is the map loads of fields and quite a big map by the look of it I'm on new farmer mode on new farmer mode we start off with this area here which is where your farm is um, and we start off with fields 14 13 and 15 we've got a cow pen there a sheep pen and chicken pen and we've also got our farm silo and our farmhouse the field prices vary as you can imagine so one of the round fields there's 422,000 that one's 205,000 and then I think field one's quite big that's 555,000 and just basically different prices across the board up here we've got two tiny little fields 32 is only 26,000 33 is only 21,000 there's a few forestry areas like so 134 112 they're all kind of split up into different sections and over here and there's some just down there and there so quite a bit of forestry area over there as well. You've got some placeable areas there. That one's 201,000. One there for 98,000. There's one there which is 234. And you've got these two there. One there. Loads up here. Over there. There. <laughs> and then top left is another one. So you can put your farm pretty much anywhere you, you like but this is where you start on new farmer mode and let's have a quick look at our equipment on new farmer mode it is 482 slots out of 1299 if you sell all this equipment you can get that down to 313 slots and if you come on the other two modes, Farm Manager, and start from scratch, it is also 313 slots, but you start off with nothing, no equipment, no land. And if you do sell um, all of it or come on to the other modes, this is what that area looks like where your farm is. So 
so plenty of room for you to put things down um, we start off in new farmer mode with the Fent Favorite 515 Fiat 1300 DT the Bison Harvester FarmTech TDK 1600 trailer header for your Bison a corn header for your harvester a plow a cultivator a seeder a planter a fertilizer spreader a mower a tedder windrower a baler um, a water tank trailer front loader with a bucket attachment pallet forks and bell spike you've got a weight and then we've got your cow pasture which is they're all the standard in-game um, animal pens you start off with and they're all the large versions so that'll take 200 cows your sheep pen 250 your chicken pen 400 your grain silo which is takes your standard crops um, it's 100,000 litre capacity this is the same as CAS 64's map that came out the other day rustic acres which I spotted the grain silo to sell there you can see it's 405,000 I noticed that on the last map so and you do start off with some crops in it but that seems quite a hefty price to sell that for so you can make a profit there you've got an easy shed three and another one a easy shed one and another and your farmhouse and again the same as rustic acres the sheds are joined together which you will see so you've already got quite a big open space already as you can see to place different things down which is quite cool so there's your silo tip in there and your outpipe this is your easy shed three two of them joined together with some of our equipment underneath and there's your easy shed um, ones just over there um, something I did notice and I've been reading about is that's the wrong menu in our sell point price list here if we go right to the end there's a symbol there at the very end um, I've been reading it's compost and I've also read apparently it's been left in by mistake because it's been left in from the PC version because I'm no expert but I don't think we've come across or I haven't come across compost on console yet so I think that's been left in by mistake so I've read and it's compost so right let's jump in I think because I've done everything else I'm pretty sure this is the same equipment you start off with in rustic acres as well and we'll have a quick whiz around the map you got some nice little features like the little waterfall there coming down through your farm if we were to take this track here it leads you up to your um, cow pasture there on the left and then up the end there's your sheep pasture which is quite cool nice little view there down onto our farm can go out through this way under the sort of rock formation but we're going to go this way because there's another little cool feature at the entrance to your farm there is traffic on the map which you can see and there is contracts available too so we go through a little sort of ford just there which is quite nice so we'll quickly jump across there we're going to go up to our first sail point we'll 
which is just up here on the right. There you go. And that is Luca's Garden Centre. If we scroll down, there's some really cool names for some of the cell points as well. Um, Luca's Garden Centre will take... Uh, that's just saying that compost. So I'm guessing... If that isn't a thing on console, that's pretty wasted, that cell point. Yeah. I didn't notice that before. That's a bit of a shame. One thing I didn't notice, um, show you, sorry, was we have got a BGA, which is there, break wind, <laughs> biogas plant. To buy that, it's only 93,860, so not too bad a price. If we just quickly go up here a sec, you'll see one of the circular fields. Like I say, I can't see workers coping with that. Now, we've got that thing which we had on the map before. If I turn the engine off, we've got that sound of running water. But there's no water really near us. So I'm not sure what that's about. I had that before on a map, I think it was Wartburg when I did a tour on that. Um, no, I'm cutting across the grass now, we want to go this way. And it's the same as on uh, Rustic Acres again, there's plenty of room at the edge of your fields for you to expand them. got all this grass bush sort of you know you could extend the fields easily out to this path you see the nice there's the ocean there with some boats going across you got a huge placeable area there to the left absolutely huge then just in front of us there is another cell point so if you drive up the ramp there there's your cell point just there so we came out the farmhouse to Lucas Garden Centre across here up and we're at reliable Rob D's mill which does all of your main crops plus sugar beet, potatoes, sugar cane, and that is it. And then if we go down here, we've got another cell point just over to the left, down by the water. look at the size of that placeable area that is huge a couple of houses there on the front there with the waterfront just in there is your other cell point and this is port warehouse and that is another main cell point again potato sugar beet also does cotton sugar cane wool and that is it so quite a varied cell point there i think we'll come out and we'll go up i won't show you all the placeable areas but we'll whiz round and we we'll end up at wacky do ranch which is another funky name for a cell point Yeah, because there's so many placeable areas, so I'll just show you the ones that we um, sort of go past. 
otherwise it's kind of driving out of the way and then coming back on yourself to get somewhere else it seems like quite a nice map I um, probably preferred the look of rusty acres if I'm honest but this does look quite nice it's got some nice features on it so I still want to carry on there don't I yet yeah. that's it just over to the left I presume I normally have a quick whiz round so I can get my bearings on maps but um, because I'm a sort of day behind with this one I've just come home from work and I thought I'd crack on with this straight away and get it out uploaded so you've got a little training area there for your horses there's your cell point just there Wha yeah. wacky do ranch is going to do another main sail point quite a few of them this will do potato sugar beet sugar cane eggs milk which is good and that is it then we'll come out of wacky do ranch i think we'll come across there so we see that um placeable area and we will f go to through here and we'll end up it's all legal meal which is another random name um where are we second oh no that's down there so i thought i missed something then but i didn't So there's uh, another um, placeable area, again huge. Sometimes they don't look that big on the map, on the PDA, but that is massive. That's probably bigger an area than the, our starting farm. And you've got lovely little tracks look going up and down across there's another placeable area just over to the right there you can see if we whiz round here a bit of forestry to our right there and then we're going to go past these two random little fields that have got trees in them so you'd have to like uh, on rusty acres you have to clear those trees before you can use them now if I go left here and that way sorry you can see just over there to the left another huge placeable area absolutely enormous you could make build your own massive farm there and we've got another cell point which looks a bit similar to was it Rob D's which is going to be the same thing up the ramp to sell so we came out of wacky do we came along we went across there past the two little fields with trees in through there and down it's all legal mill another main sail point does potato sugar beet sugar cane and that is it and then we will come down here to bell cells so another placeable area just to our left not as big but it's still huge got 
got some good sized fields on here as well field 79 to our right is quite a thin but it's a long field so I think that red building in front of us is going to be our bow cells way I think and then it looks like through here is it there's your bell cells which is up the top and that is just going to do I would imagine yeah your silage grass hay straw you can obviously sell it there loose as well if you so wish so then we'll cut across animal dealer which is just pretty much next door but one oh just there barrier there that's quite cool so dialogue box is just there on the ramp like so We'll carry on. Out of here. Try not to cause a crash. And then swing a right here. And then just up here we've got another cell point. Around the back there and this is Brianna's yeah Brianna's beer and burgers <laughs> which is there and that's gonna do wheat barley oats corn potatoes eggs milk and that is it so another sort of varied one we'll come out of there and we'll go to wicked wiki's wall which I'm assuming is going to be a spinnery. I'm going to cut in front of him because they seem to be going a little bit slow on this map. Or is it me going too fast? So just in here we've got our barriers again look. Just there in the middle is Wicked Wiki's wall down the bottom that's just gonna do your cotton and a wall like so. Now we will go Down here, I think. I was meant to go this way actually. <laughs> well, I messed that up. We'll go down here and we'll take, and then I'll go straight to the sawmill. I'll probably cut to the sawmill and then we'll work our way back from there because I took the wrong turn. And... So bear with me a second. In fact, we're going to visit the shop first. So there's your shop icon there. And your vehicle workshop trigger customizations just there. If you buy or lease anything, it's here. Another thing I didn't test is your reset point. If we pick that, there's your reset point just there. 
yeah I thought I would carry on actually down this way because when we get to the sawmill we can cut down through the forestry area and see one of the other large placeable areas we've got a fuel station just there on the right like a really old looking building another cell point just in there over to the right so we are now at farmer john's manure which is gonna do your manure possibly slurry yeah and that compost symbol but like i say i think that's been left in by accident for pc from pc rather so if we can quickly overtake this guy lovely little feature there with your river coming through go over the bridge very nice and just in here's your sawmill there's your wood chip sail point and your lumber is just round the back there like so now if we whiz down through the forest here on this track should take us to one of those large placeable areas loads of forestry either side of this track so just there look at the size of that one humongous so we're down here and if we come out of here we'll go f across it and up and we'll go into break wind biogas plant whoa there There's a bit of a bump there guys. I don't think I've ever done a forward flip like that in a tractor. So there's a first there for all of us. I quite like the edge of the map where it's um built up a sort of cliff edge there. It's quite nice because some maps they just sort of drop away and they look ugly at the edge that's quite cool what they've done there I've missed my turn in now too busy talking so now if we come up here and turn left we've got our BGA which is a very nice colourful one got your tipping digester there and your digest date is where's that gonna be I'm not hundred percent sure actually but it's gonna be in here somewhere Oh, it's probably there actually, that pipe there. I didn't see that because of the um, tree line. Right, if we come out of the BGA, we we'll turn left and left again across there to Honest Newell's Mill. Quite of the fact this one's got proper roads on it as well. I'm pretty sure uh, Rustic Acres was just sort of dirt tracks everywhere. So, up through here. Again, this looks similar to the two other cell points we've been to, but it's just drive up into there. This is Honest Newell's Mill, 
just there. Another main sale point. Also does potato, sugar beet, sugar cane, and that is it. Then from there, we get back up onto the main road. We'll come all the way across. We'll go past this placeable area. Come down and we'll go to Zeke's Creamy Dairy. And that should be it. So a pretty straightforward one. Up on the right, up above, beyond the fence is one of our fields. We start off with a new farmer mode. So yeah, another placeable area to the left. Nice big one. Tons of options on here where you're going to place your farms or place whatever you like down on them factories pack if you're into that so that's quite cool that road going under there I think this is the road we want yeah the trees aren't too much of a problem either some maps it becomes quite dark and you can't see you have to go a bit in cab, but it doesn't seem to be a problem on this one. And we're down over to this side of the map again with the um, ocean, the sea. And we've got our last sail point in here, which I'm guessing is going to be milk. There's no hazard box, but it's going to be in here somewhere. So Zeke's Creamy Dairy, right down the bottom. It's going to do eggs and milk, like so. So we've pretty much done a sort of clockwise loop round, a little bit of a iffy bit there, and we did all this. So that is it, I think. So that is Almost a Farm by Kaz64. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. I'm going to go for a swim. Ah, oh, it won't let me. Stay frosty.